Welcome to week 5 of Kona's Crash Course covering Genesis 9 and Noah's son's descendants. The main piece of land that envelops most of what is talked about today is the Mesopotamia, which means land between rivers. Within the Mesopotamia was the summer area, which includes the Uruk, Ur, Kish, and Akkad cities, which were the center of commerce. This area would eventually be conquered by Sargon the Great, a military leader who formed the Akkadian Empire and formed infrastructure, payroll, and taxes. The four major rivers bordering the sides of the land were the Tigris, Euphrates, Pishon, and Gifon. People doubted the Pishon River ever existed, but recent satellite photos proved that this fourth river did exist bordering the land. Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, were in charge of repopulating the earth after the flood. Shem had five sons, repopulating mainly in the Middle East, Japheth, who had seven sons, who mainly populated in Europe and Asia, and finally Ham, who is the youngest, with four sons, who mainly populated in Southwest Asia and Africa. One night, when Noah was drunk, Ham entered in on him naked, and when Noah found out, he cursed Ham's son Canaan, who would lead to be the Canaanite people. The people of Ham would be forced to serve the other people as servants of servants, and they were often known in history to clear out land which the Japheth people took over. Nineveh was forged out by Nimrod, another prominent military leader who was the grandson of Ham. The last two civilizations were the Assyrians and the Babylonians. The Assyrians developed the World Library in Nineveh, and the Babylonians were a prominent large city in the area which was completely walled around. That's all for this week. Study for the quiz and look at the crosswalk before crossing the street.